what's up, how's it going? This is Skull Drawings, a uh, channel dedicated entirely to drawing tattoos and tattoo designs. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and draw a snake head for the purposes of uh, tattooing. Uh, kind of an open snake head. There's uh, many different types of snake heads that you can do, but I'm just going to be going over one version, which is the open mouth toward you. And we're going mostly over the, the head of the snake right here. So we're going to vignette it off. Uh, one thing to do with the snake is it's got this bug-eyed look a lot of times. You cannot see the far end of the eye, the other eye. It kind of smells with its tongue, essentially. A serpent tongue. Slit eyes. And right here what I'm doing is I'm just putting down some framework and then I'm going to actually shade it after that. I'm just doing some fast, fast framework. Um, nothing more. I'm not doing it too dark. Angry snake eye as well. Scales. As you can tell I'm doing this really fast. I want to get stuff placed as quickly as possible because I'm going to be going into the, uh, the actual you know, shading of it. Um, in case you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using an uh, Aqua Sketch 6B, which is just graphite, so it's just pencil graphite. And finding the value here really quick. And anyways, let's kind of... Uh, Go into the shading part of it. I'm gonna speed this part up and then come back and then talk about it. Um, but let's get into it. Anyways, uh, we, we're coming back here. What I started doing is I started placing down my notes on kind of where things were gonna go. You know, you have this scale pattern with the open mouth. And then what you can do is you can kind of go into these scales right here and try to soften things out and darken things up. Because what you're doing there, what we were doing was taking notes for the future, essentially, for like working on. Adding dark, dark. Uh, if we want this to stand out a little bit more, we can put a little value here. This kind of—it's almost like the floor of the mouth, not quite the tongue. The tongue is sticking out. If we really want to kind of make this pop, we can put some sort of background below the snake's face, you know, but normally they're like floating, you want it to be in attack mode. So it's really up to you whether you do that or not. Anyways, that's pretty much the end of this uh, in terms of the snake's face. Uh, I'm going to be doing more, you know, like maybe the snake's body, an entire snake. Is, I know I already did a snake and a skull. Uh, you guys can see that video, I linked it. And uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on tattoos in general, uh, please let me know, like something you want me to go over. Um, I'll see you next time. So, see you later, guys.